this is uh, Bob from Hobby Concepts back with part 6 of my Tamiya Volvo FH16 tow truck build. Uh, in this part I'm going to build the cab. Uh, we're going to add all the lights, we're going to do some extra detailing like dash lights and some other things uh, that I think you'll find kind of interesting. So uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's big, it's turning out really nice. Let's get started. So time to start the body. Uh, as we mentioned in the last video, there are a lot of body parts. There are a lot, lot of body parts. It's going to take a lot of paint. Uh, one of the things that uh, also is intriguing is a lot of these panels in the side of the bed open and close. So here's some panel doors, which mean I probably need to paint them inside and out so when the doors are open they look good. The other thing I noticed is Tamiya molded all the cab parts, so the cab parts, the cab roof, in a slightly different color. I don't know if it's going to show up good, um, but it's a, a little more ivory and the body parts are a little more white. Here's the interior parts, which are also in the slightly more ivory. So we've got the ivory parts and the white parts would be the cab and then the bed. So. I'm going to go ahead and clip these all out and paint them. Uh, I'm not going to show that because it's a ton of work and uh, I've got a really good painting video on how to paint these so I'll put a link in the description of the painting video. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on these and they're going to take some Tamiya primer, Tamiya red paint and uh, get some of this stuff painted up and then I'll come back and we'll do the assembly with the painted parts. Well, I've got uh, my parts painted. I used a Tamiya TS39 Mica Red. It takes a lot of paint. I used uh, uh, two cans of primer, four cans of paint, and two cans of clear. You can see here I've highlighted a panel with uh, a Copic uh, multi-liner, which is in a .1 size. You can get these at Hobby Lobby. I like them to outline the panels. Um, I've got red parts all over my shop. There's an example. Uh, oh my, there's a lot of painting to do. So uh, now I'm going to go with the uh, instructions and mask off uh, some of these body panels and some of these other small parts and paint them with semi-flat black. So I'll go ahead and do that and we'll come back and assemble it. Well, I've been painting all these parts and waiting for them to dry. You can see I've got the black trim painted on this. I also painted the dash. Um, the light gray is just the Tamiya primer. The dark gray is XF24. I installed the uh, decals and then I clear flatted everything, which I think makes really a nice looking dash. And that XF24 matches the color of the decals nicely. I also installed lights in the dash, um, and I'm going to hook those up with, with an electronic switch, and I'll show that a little later in this video. But uh, I just like doing the lights, and I think they really add a lot to the interior. Let's just light them up here. You can see the, the lights, or at least I hope you can. Um, I've got a whole video on just how to in how to do these dash lights and I'll put a link for that in the description. So now that I've got the dash painted, I've got the seats painted, same thing, to me a primer, XF24. Um, all these parts are painted, I can actually start to assemble this now. Okay, as I move into the assembly in part H, the first thing are these mirrors, which I've kind of assembled. I just wanted to point out that I use this micro crystal clear um, clear parts cement to glue in things like the mirrors. It dries perfectly clear and it does not attack plastic parts. So I've got those glued in. I'll go ahead and snap these on. The other thing I want to mention is I painted the, the windows as per the instructions. And the way you do that is you paint the inside. So I painted the inside with semi-gloss black, which makes really nice looking um, 
outside for the window. So when they drop in, this one gives you a nice effect like real glass. So I'm going to go ahead and install these side windows and mirrors and come back. So I've got the windows in, the uh, mirrors mounted, and uh, everything's looking good so far. And here's the first issue that I'm coming across. And this, uh, this piece right here has got two lenses in it and you can install lights in it. Now the MFC says choose whether to install lights in roof front which would be here or in roof lights which would be this light bar here. Now I'm going to install the lights in the light bar but I don't want to leave these lights blank that are in here so I'm going to make my own lights and hook them to the same electronic switch as the dash light. So I'm going to kind of go through that as I do it. The other issue, truck in here, is this body. There's a little mount that fits in here. This fits over the back and then the front goes down and it screws on like that. So the body doesn't come on and off. On a lot of the European trucks the bodies tilt forward which makes it real easy to access the MFC. But this one, all the wiring is going to have to be done by taking the body on and off. But the main problem is as I look through here, I'm looking at this, the back of this. And you can see it really well with that white sticker. So what I've done is I've cut a piece of cardstock here that is going, I'm going to use a couple pieces of double sticky tape. I'm going to paint this black and I'm going to uh, install it here so when you look in the cab it hides the MFC and the wiring and since I'm at it I'm gonna go ahead and probably uh, cut some lettering in here and backlight it to make kind of a little interior uh, design so we'll see how that works out I have uh, taken some little LEDs soldered a resistor on each one. That happens to be a uh, 470 ohm quarter watt resistor. So I've got four resistors and four LEDs. I'm going to put the, uh, the red LED in the top, which is the small hole, and a white LED in the bottom. And uh, so those are just mounted in here like this. To me it gives you these little brackets to hold them in. And uh, that will give me then my output leads uh, to go to the electronic switch. So now I'll be able to have lights in both positions. And there's the finished piece with all the LEDs installed. Now remember, these aren't the, uh, the MFC LEDs. These are some extra ones. So this just drops in here like this. And these nuts hold it on. I'll use some Loctite and I'll get that put together. And I've got these uh, these lights in just kind of temporarily do a little test here. So yeah, so I've got a white light and a red light in each one and those look really nice. So now we'll go ahead and assemble the rest of this. Well, this was pretty straightforward. The uh, MFC LEDs just fit in these lights. They clamp over this bar. Um, I glued the trim piece and the mirror on and uh, so this just bolts on to the body and then this bar just bolts on to the top and the wires run through these slots right here and then this window fills in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then my next step will be to put the speaker in and put the top together. Okay, you can see I've got the uh, speaker mounted, and now I've got my lights mounted and everything. When I put the top on, unfortunately there's a beautiful view of the speaker through this uh, top window. So I uh, have some more of my famous cardstock, and I am going to make a piece like this and just paint it uh, black 
and uh, stick it in here with a little bit of double-sided tape and that will hide the speaker through the window. Well, since I, I'm making this cover for there and I'm making the cover for the MFC, I thought it might be kind of fun to burn some lettering into that cover. So I'm going to tape this on here, use my exacto and I have to scribe these letters in and see if I can cut these letters out of this plastic and then I'll build a light box behind it. So the bulkhead is in the back of the cab. These will illuminate in uh, red. I think that might look pretty cool. So we'll give that a try. Well that actually turned out pretty nice. Even better than I thought. I've showed this trick before. This is a piece of a milk bottle. I, uh, I saved the gallon milk jugs and cut them up. So I'm going to cut a piece of this to fit on the back side to be my translucent light reflector. I'll build a little light box back here and throw a couple red LEDs in it. So I'm going to paint this black and then I'll make the center of the D out of a little piece of plastic and glue it on there. So I'll go ahead and build that. So I uh, fitted my, my plastic cover, for want of a better word, had to punch a couple holes in it because the screws that hold the top on come up through here. Cut a little notch in it to hold my my wiring uh, that goes around here. And I also drilled a hole in the back corner to run the wiring through. One thing to me it does in the instructions, and what they don't uh, do is tell you anything about where, where to run wiring. Um, I'm assuming that they probably put it through this gap, but I liked it back here in the corner where it was more hidden. You can see I've tied down the wiring up underneath. Another thing they don't mention is when you're using the roof lights, you actually have to cut these slots longer. They give you an indentation on the back side where you can cut it out so the wiring fits in there better. So I'm going to go ahead now and feed all my wires through here and mount the top with the screws from the bottom up. You can see I mounted the exhaust here. And then I'm also going to, uh, Tamiya makes this uh, driver figure that's an optional part. I'll put a link in the description, but I'm going to go ahead and assemble this driver figure because I think I really want a driver in my truck. So I've got that to do, that to do, and then I've got to finish the light box from my back bulkhead. So I'll get those little projects done and uh, then we'll come back and do the final assembly on this body. Okay, coming right along, I've got the uh, exhaust mounted on the back. I've got the dash mounted inside. I know it's probably impossible to see through the windows right now, but I'll get some shots of that later. Um, I mounted this chrome piece. I decided to leave it all chrome. Um, fire trucks look nice with chrome on them. And then there's this photo etch grill piece. Now, the only thing important to note about this is it does have a front and a back, and the front has got some relief in it. It goes like this. And then, this is potentially the smallest screw I have ever seen in a Tamiya kit. It is a teeny little booger, so I got my my eyeglass screwdriver set here, and I'm going to go ahead and put that in. There's four of them. So, when you dump out your screw bags with this kit, make sure you put them in something where you can find them again, because that will disappear anywhere. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and mount this, and we'll uh, we'll continue working on this cab. So I finished up this bulkhead, and uh, you can see I made a little box for the back, put two um, red LEDs in it, and I coated the inside with aluminum tape for a reflector. Uh, then I've got my little double sticky tape here, pull that off, and then this will just drop into position here. like that. Okay, and then when I power it up, let's power it up with the battery here. That's what it's going to look like. I think it turned out pretty darn good. We'll get the seats in front of it and my driver figure and uh, get that interior finished up.
I promised earlier I would talk about wiring up this uh, electronic switch. So what I've got, I've got the two wires here that go to my dash lights, the two wires here that go to the roof lights that didn't come in the kit, and then I've got the two wires here that go to my lighted uh, back panel. So what I need to do is get those into this electronic switch. Now the electronic switch is designed to just plug into the radio receiver and then output to the wiring. So what I've got to do is solder this connector onto these wires. But since I want to be able to unplug the cab to completely remove it for service if I ever need to, I'm going to solder one onto here and then I'm going to solder a separate one onto here and use a Y harness that has a splitter to uh, connect into this. That way I can completely remove the cap, unplug everything if I ever want to. So let me start by, by soldering this on. Now I chose these two on purpose because they're different colors. You've got one that's white, red, and black and one that's orange, red, and brown. Those are your typical leads that you'll see. So the brown or the black is the negative, the red's the positive, and the orange or the white is the sense line. Now since we're wiring lights, we don't need the sense line. So we can just pull it off. And we're just going to solder on my, my two negative leads, which in this case are the blue, will connect to the negative. And my two white ones will connect to the positive. So I'm going to go ahead and solder that up. So you can see I've soldered my two sets of lights into this uh, servo plug, clipped off that extra lead. So now my electronic switch, this just plugs into here, and then this plugs into the receiver, and my receiver has got an empty spot on channel 5. So I'll plug that in. Now the truck is powered up and turned on. So now, this switch right here will give me, we'll turn those lights on and off using electronic switch. So that should be these lights. Yep, turns those on. And the dash lights. Now I don't know if you're going to be able to see the dash lights really good. Um, yeah, I think you can kind of see them. They look really nice from here. I'll have better pictures of those later. So now what I want to do is add the same type of plug to these lines and then put a Y harness in and then that switch will turn on these lights, the dash lights, and these uh, back lights all at the same time. So there's my electronic switch. There's a Y harness going out to um, the cab and then to this set of lights right here. So now my switch turns on the backlighting and these lights and the dash lights. So that's my optional lighting. All right, now back to the normal truck. Um, as you can see, I've added some of the detail to the cab. Uh, pretty straightforward stuff. I mean, I glued on the wipers, the handles, mounted the grill, the door poles. Um, I've got to do, to do these pieces right here, and uh, then the cab is pretty much ready to go on. So we'll get that put together. I mounted this uh, plate. So now really the body is, uh, is ready to mount, and that would be a, a normal stopping point. We get to our next bag here where we start assembling all the boxes for the back. But what I'm going to do is skip ahead quite a ways to step 100, which is the lights. And remember, I already assembled the rear lights and the front lights. So what I'm going to do is do this step right here, which is the front end and the front lights, and get all that mounted. And that way I can tie up all my wiring that goes around the cab here, neaten up everything, and that'll be the stopping point for this video. And then the next video I'll build the back end and do the lights back there. But I'd really like to be able to neaten up all the wiring. So 
that's where I'm going to go next, step 100. I've already done the light assembly, you've seen that, so now I just have to mount the lights into the grill. And uh, I should have that yeah, somewhere in my painted parts. So I'll get to work on that. I uh, painted the center black. The light fixtures that I built in the last part just mount right in. And then these steps just mount here, like this. And, uh, and this grill piece, another photo etched part, it just goes on with those same little tiny screws, these go underneath it. So, something like that. So I'll put those together. Getting there. Well, here's the uh, front. Uh, all finished with the side steps. So this mounts to this metal bracket like this. Right there. Um, the problem is the body comes down and mounts to these right here. So you have to install this after the body's on. The wiring has to be plugged in before the body goes on. And the body doesn't tilt like the other trucks, so um, it's going to be a little bit tricky. I want to get all the wiring done up so that I can take the body on and off. I'm going to have to have enough wiring so I can drop this, so I think what I'm going to do is pull the wiring up through here, route it back around to the MFC, and then put the body on, plug in all that wiring, and then put this on last. Then I'm going to have to take the body back off again to get the rear end lighting done. So I'm going to pull some wires and when I get them pulled through I'll show you what they look like. Now you can see I've got most of the wiring just kind of tied up in here. Um, I have not plugged in the vibration motor. We'll worry about that later. Um, the box and the battery plug are going to run out the back. I've got my little loom coming from the bumper and this bundle here. So the body should just fit on here. in place. I'll be able to push that up. I'm going to put the two screws in, push that up and screw that down and we'll fire it up. Okay. Okay, so um, I wanted to uh, use this as the end of part six. Show a few more um, details. I just stuck the box up here uh, temporarily uh, with a piece of tape. So that really was uh, just working on the cab front. This thing is really big. Um, and then we can fire it up here and plug it in. So I've got it turned on. So I'm going to start it up. sound down a little bit here. So now you can see turn signal here, turn signal here. Those work good. Horn. Flip that down. Got my emergency flashers on and off. And then as I flip this down I'll have my overhead lights come on. And then my headlights come on. It's lit up pretty good. And then this switch works the upper lights here and the dash lights. I'm going to position the camera so we can see the interior. Okay, so here's the dash lights. 
See those go on and off. We'll zoom in a little bit here. You see the driver figure's hands. I'll move it around to the front. Okay, I've got it around the front. There's my lighted panel inside. Zoom that in. A lot of glare in here, but you get the idea. And then notice how this also turns on the upper lights. And then we can flip off all the main lights. Okay. So we're going to call that the end of part six. I'll get that shut off here. Um, that was the body section. The next part, I'm going to do all the back end parts, the switches for this, and finish up the whole truck. So uh, that'll be the last part. I was hoping to do this in four parts, but it's just a lot to it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, some of the little extra details, the cab lighting and the back lighting, and how to add extra lights. Um, I really appreciate everybody watching. Uh, appreciate a thumbs up, and please subscribe. And... Uh, Hey, this is fun. Thanks again for watching.